Good morning. All right, so the next three episodes are gonna be a little bit different. Instead of going to like cool restaurants and stuff, I'm actually going to be doing a cleanse that's in one of these books from one of my favorite authors. I'm gonna break it up into three sections because that's what he does in the book. There's, it's nine days, so it's gonna be in sections of three days. So today is day one. The reason I'm doing this liver rescue cleanse is, well, it's always good to just cleanse your system with all the toxins we have in this world and the alcohol we drink and the fats we eat. Um, but also because I do have psoriasis and since becoming vegan, it's actually become very minimal. But I do every now and then get like a little bit of an outbreak. So if you look in the title, psoriasis is actually in the title. So I'm hoping that by doing this cleanse, it'll help it even more and maybe make it disappear altogether. Don't worry, as much as I would like to just continue eating healthy, I'm still gonna be going to restaurants and checking them out because I really love that. But it's always good to have a reset and cleanse. So that's what I'm doing for the next nine days and I am taking you guys along with my journey. I hope it is educational, informational to you guys and maybe you guys will do it and let me know how it goes. Leave your comments below. So I'm excited to do this with you guys. So earlier, I started with the lemon water. I took that to cycle with me. Now I'm gonna do celery juice, which actually isn't part of the first three days. It starts on the fourth day. But I've been doing celery juice every morning for maybe about a month now. So it's kind of like already in my regimen and I really wanna do it. Your 16 to 20 ounces of celery juice. Cheers. So after your celery juice, you wanna wait 15 minutes before your first meal. So I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and then I'm gonna start breakfast. All right, so breakfast today is going to be a mango smoothie. I'm making some for my fiance. So it has four cups of mango and two bananas, and two cups of water. Costco and do our grocery shopping for the rest of this cleanse. For lunch, we are having a mango salad, which is basically a bunch of spring mix greens and a lot of mangoes that I'm cutting up right now. Probably like two or three mangoes and like a bowl full of greens. Mid-afternoon snack is supposed to be two apples and one to four dates. Good morning. Yesterday I ran out of time because I was getting ready for work, but I ended my day with dinner, which was a veggie pasta that was a recipe straight out of Liver Rescue. And then after that, I had a lemon water and a hibiscus tea I found on Amazon. Actually, I don't like this brand because they individually wrap every tea bag with plastic, which is such a waste of plastic. There's no need for that. So, I actually don't recommend this brand. So every morning on this cleanse, he asks for 16 ounces of lemon or lime water. So I just fill my glass with 16 ounces of water and squeeze in half a lime or lemon. Cheers. 
Cheers. So for the second day, he says to have breakfast, your snack, plus an apple. So I'm also with my breakfast smoothie, gonna eat an apple. after lunch snack, two apples, and one to four dates. For dinner, I took the leftovers from last night's dinner, the veggie pasta, and I put them over a bed of mixed greens to create a cold pasta salad. So after dinner is time for lime water and hibiscus tea. So I'm gonna make my lime water right now, 16 ounces. Last step of the day, hibiscus tea. So day three calls for two apples after breakfast as well as two apples and some dates after lunch. My fiance is getting a little tired of all the apples so I'm gonna make it a little easier for him and blend it all into one big applesauce which is also a recipe in his book Liver Rescue that is pretty much the same thing apples and dates. So it's getting pretty late already and we have not yet had our lunch and dinner. So I'm gonna kind of make our lunch lighter and just have a dragon fruit smoothie. You can combine whatever you want as long as it's fruits and water. But I'm gonna use the recipe that's in the liver rescue. my motor yep so yeah I just burned my motor but I'm a weirdo and I happen to have two Vitamixes so no fear I can finish this smoothie and the rest of this cleanse Tastes good too. Mmm, that's so yummy. It's like ice cream. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make the yellow curry noodles that the recipe is also in the liver rescue book. 
using my veggie bullet. I'm gonna spiralize zucchini, carrots, and then I'm also gonna use kelp noodles. I do have a regular spiralizer, but the veggie bullet just is amazing and it's easier. I wouldn't have got it myself because I already had the spiralizer, but my mom just had one extra, I guess. She gave it to me and it's pretty awesome. So it's called yellow curry noodles, but it looks more green, I think because of all the cilantro. Looks good though. Mm, smells so good. I love Indian food. So anything with curry is good, usually. We'll see. Spicy too. Good recipe. So, how are you feeling? Uh, it's just a little hard to enjoy foods that you know don't normally eat. Like what? Um, just like a lot of intake of, of cold foods and and then but at night you get a hot meal you know it's like it's like it's just different so different way of yeah. eating and getting used to it yeah it's just getting by used the way to we're it. drinking lemon water yeah which is our second to last step of the day so but all in all i feel great so good down a lot of weight. I feel good. I like it. I feel like out of all the cleanses that he has, this one's been the easiest. Yes. And yeah, I like it. I have no complaints. Except that my blender, what do you call it? The motor died. That sucks. Yeah. Oh well. But I feel like everybody should try it. Yeah. Cheers. Day four tomorrow. Day four.